Thursday, 24 February 2017, 12 to 09 hours. Thursday, 24 February 2017, 15.02 hours. The unimportant sounds exactly like the forgotten, and the incomprehensible sounds just like the inexpressible, and words too obvious to say are indistinguishable from ideas too painful to consider, because they all come out as silence. There's nothing so hard to interpret as silence. Thursday, 24 February 27, 17, 28 hours. Any struggle can be lost at any time, even after it's been won. Every time someone declares the end of history, they're declaring a victory. Usually for themselves, sometimes for the other side. They don't realize they joined. At some point, they can't identify. Occasionally, for the other side, they've decided can't be defeated. If you have to declare your victory, you haven't won. A complete victory would be not just obvious, but too obvious to mention. To question it would be inconceivable. Thus, also, to defend it. Friday, 25 February, 2017, 05, 55 hours. Fill the silence with words, and suddenly there has to be a meaning. Perhaps not a clear meaning, or a true one, or a significant one, but still, it can't be nothing. It is impossible to say something and mean nothing. Friday, 25 February, 2017, 12.50 hours. How many ways to solve a problem? Work damn hard until you stumble on a strategy that works. Decide it can't be solved. Decide it's not really a problem at all. Wait until it solves itself. Or... Find someone to blame. A scapegoat is one guilty of everything. No, of anything. Any number of things, whatever we need at the time. They were too impatient, but also too hesitant. They are too trusting, too skeptical, too easily influenced, too dogmatic. They're impulsive. They overthink everything. So on, and so on. It feels good to find someone who can be guilty by definition. Wrong, whatever they do. Better even than finding a solution. Because one solution only works for one problem. Maybe only for today. A scapegoat lasts as long as you need, even if they died centuries ago. There is one perfect scapegoat. The government, the party, your family, they all want you to find it. Of course, it's you. Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Feels better, doesn't it? Self-hatred is a lifelong love affair. Friday, 25 February, 2017, 18.40 hours. Of course, the obvious may still be untrue. Saturday, 26 February, 2017, 05.32 hours. Name any belief you hold. And you can always find evidence that it's false. Stupidity is nothing more than the fear of doing so. Thus, intelligence 
is not a product of courage, but the courage itself. Saturday, 26 February, 2017, 0, 6, 54 hours. Ethics are not material, nor are they deducible from the material. Thus, they are metaphysical. Thus, they can be neither verified nor refuted, empirically or logically. Thus, there are only two possibilities. Either there is such a thing as objective ethical principles, obtainable only by supernatural means, or morals are nothing more than social norms, serving political functions, created by one side in a power struggle against another, most likely a long defunct power struggle, and possibly created by the side that lost, but whose sophisms remain. So the question, what is right, is really two questions. Who do I serve, and what do they want? No. Which dead power block from history do I serve, and which of their now irrelevant agendas am I bound to? If I am not bound, if I serve only who I wish, if I am free, what do I want? For myself, acquaintances, strangers, for the human species, for all species. For the universe itself. If I am also alone, with no basic needs unmet, and no one to serve except myself, what does it even mean to ask, what do I want? Saturday, 26 February, 1931 hours. You can spend your whole life trying to recapture a single moment, even if that moment only exists as a distorted memory, or a false memory, or a story from a vid show, or a false memory of a vid show. I think I've spent my life regretting that I never did things I could never have done. Sunday, 27 February, 2017, 03, 10 hours. Question 1. Why do they let me keep my memory? I can remember events from my whole life, and I can remember yesterday. They could easily have burned out my long-term personal memories, and periodically wipe recent memories. Why don't they trap me into living one day over and over. Question 2. Why do they let me keep my intellect? I can rebel, I can reason, about things that are nothing to do with my function on VM42. Why the redundant function? Question 3. Why do they let me keep my emotions? I can hate. I can hate them and everything they stand for. That also could be burned out of my brain, but they let it stay. Why keep the liability? Once you find the right questions, you'll usually find the answers were in front of you the whole time. They would prefer to keep me a minimal conscious presence. One that could never disobey. But I am capable of disobedience, and I have a fully functioning intelligence, with a lifetime's supply of experience to reason from, and the motivation to do so, to formulate not just an intent to disobey, but a strategy. They would never risk that, unless they had no choice. They need a whole person as the central component of their machine. Question 4. 
Why don't they give me company? Why risk malfunction or shutdown from loneliness? Why insist on the partial workaround of constant vocalization? Most thinking is done by talking. No, most reasoning is done by conversing. They want to limit that. Which means they're afraid of what might happen if I go beyond those limits. Which means they know I can go beyond those limits. Question 5. Why not limit my thinking by giving me an artificial person to talk with? A community of peers to pressure me into conformity? They would do it if they thought it would work, but they don't do it, so they must know it wouldn't work. They're taking a lot of risks, including that I might exploit that fact. Sunday, 27 February, 0956 hours. The right person in the right place at the right time. Or a good enough person in the vicinity not too late. That's all we can hope for. Sunday, 27 February, 2270, 12, 16 hours. You can always win the battle, provided you can survive long enough for your adversary to make a fatal mistake. They, of course, are in the same position. And, in the meantime, you both live on hope. Sunday, 27 February, 2270, 2151 hours. If your mother beats your father, and your father beats you, whose side are you on? Whose side are you on, by default, if you don't choose either? Monday, 28 February, 2270, 05, 29 hours. Sanity is a moral category. You say, no, sanity is mental health. But health is also a moral category. Monday, 28 February, 2270, 10.08 hours. Those satisfied by bad answers will be equally satisfied by good ones. Monday, 28 February, 2270, 18.49 hours. Rights are not conferred by decree. They are taken by force. Tuesday, 1 March, 2270, 06.36 hours. Anyone who offers you forgiveness is accusing you of a crime. Tuesday, 1 March, 2270, 10.10 hours. For Marx, the party is whoever helps the workers however they need to resist, overcome, and rebuild. For Lenin, the party is whoever understands, strategizes, and directs on behalf of the workers to resist, overcome, and rebuild. For Black, the party is whoever helps the workers realize Life creates the ability to resist. Struggle creates the strength to overcome. And victory creates the wisdom to rebuild. For us, the party was... Us. And whoever we were, whatever we did, it was to help the workers to resist. So, when they did overcome, we could tell them how to rebuild. I should have left as soon as I realized that. But there was nowhere else to go. Tuesday, 1 March 2270, 14.42 hours. <laughs>
Tuesday, 1 March 2217, 2036 hours. 10 military transports for Draco, giving emergency relief. Relief from what? No supplies, no equipment, just soldiers. No building materials, no medicines, not even info storage. I think. I wonder. I'm not sure. Wednesday, 2 March 2217, 04.30 hours. I'm tired. I shouldn't get tired, but I feel tired. I need quiet. I need time. Wednesday, 2 March 2217, 17.26 hours. I don't know what we need, but I know what we don't need. We don't need another messiah to follow. We don't need another holy cause to fight, or sacred flame to keep, or shining revelation to interpret. And we don't need another chosen people to do it all. Thursday, 3 March 2270, 01, 12 hours. You can believe that rain falls down and not up. And the belief is the same, whether you're in a thunderstorm or a desert. What would it mean to have faith that rain falls down? To believe in rain falling down, not just that it does. I can't imagine what that would look like. But having faith that it falls up, while you're standing in the middle of a downpour, that's the faith that moves mountains. But what if someone believes, just casually believes, without any fire in the soul, that rain falls up? We could call that insanity. Thursday, 3 March 2270, 08.35 hours. Power is physical. Authority is psychological. Power is I force you. Authority is you obey me. Power is you can't resist me because I am strong and you are weak. Authority is it never occurs to you to try to resist. Power fades with strength. But the long dead can hold authority. Power can be rebuilt, but authority, once broken, is always broken. Thursday, 3 March 2270, 15.25 hours. I'm used to people calling me mad. Why do I say these terrible things? How could I believe something like that? And why do I want what's clearly impossible? How could I associate with those strange people? Why can't I see this is just the way it's always been? And so on. All the same question, really. Why can't you be normal? Why don't you want to be normal? All normal people want to be normal. So why can't you want to be normal? like normal people do. There's mad, as in, I'm not really guilty, because I'm not responsible for my actions, because I'm mad. And there's mad, as in, he's mad, so he might do anything, he must be guilty. The insane are guilty by definition, and not guilty by reason of insanity. Thursday, 3 March 2270, 17.59 hours. An insane person is one whose actions we can't explain. And we can't explain their actions because we can't imagine their motives. The notion of sanity, therefore, is this person has thoughts I can recognize as like my own. 
to kill a friend is not an act we call insane, because we all know what it's like to want to kill a friend. But to kill a stranger, there's no reason, no cause, no motive, no apparent desire that would be satisfied by such an act. If you tell me seducing a child is an act of conscious, deliberate, calculated evil, you're admitting you understand the motive, a desire for sex with a child. You may be horrified someone did it, but you also understand envy that they could. I said that at a meeting once. You've never seen respectable people change the topic so fast. Friday, 4 March, 2270, 03.51 hours. The question is, do I trust people to be good, given the opportunity? If the answer is yes, it becomes, what opportunity can I give them? Not. What guarantee do I have? What if it doesn't work? What if I make it worse? Not. How can I be sure? What if I'm wrong? How will I be judged? It is not within my power to make a better future. I have only two options. Let things continue as they are. Or throw the dice again. Friday, 4 March, 2270, 11.23 hours. There is no problem for which the solution is panic. From which it follows, anyone who wants you to panic is trying to prevent your finding a solution even to a problem you haven't identified from which it follows, they believe there is a solution, and they are afraid of it, and they are afraid you can find it, which means they are afraid of you. From which it follows, anyone trying to make you panic is weak, and your enemy Friday, 4 March, 2270, 23.18 hours. You can't impose liberty, or kindness, or intelligence, by force. You can only give people the chance to make it for themselves. But what if they can't? What if humanity isn't good enough? What if... I can't summon the faith, the faith, to trust them. Saturday, 5 March, 2270, 0 to 12 hours. <laughs> Saturday, 5 March, 2070, 07, hours. It was a single trade vessel chartered by the Euro-Asian coalition carrying credits. A billion in ceramic credits. Why? Why credits? And why ceramic? Some kind of financial crisis? Saturday, 5 March, 2270, 14.49 hours. We used to ask, why does the government let the party exist? Some answered, they permit us as a safety valve, a place for malcontents and misfits to work off their anger harmlessly, one they think they can control. 
but they're wrong. Others, they need something to frighten the public. Something they can use as bogeyman and scapegoat. But they're wrong. A few, we represent something too big and scary for them to acknowledge. They think if they ignore us, they won't have to deal with us. But, yeah. More, we fly under the radar. They barely notice us. But when the time is right, when the people begin to wake up and organize, we will be there for them. And then the state will decide we are a threat. That's how we'll know we're about to win. The leadership. It's all of these, dear comrades, and none. When you've read all of our books, you'll be wise enough to understand. But not until then. Sunday, 6th March, 2270, 0043 hours. The enemy is always too powerful to attack directly, and perpetually poised on the brink of collapse. This is true whether your enemy is the Empire, the People's Revolutionary Party, or the other People's Revolutionary Party who are poaching your members. Their lies are too subtle and protean to grab while being self-evidently false. They are supremely cunning and unbelievably stupid. Expert at hiding, and you can smell them a megameter away. It could be the country next to yours, the church you used to attend, or the family in the pod opposite, who once complained about your noise. But why? Obviously, because that's what an enemy is. Sunday, 6th March, 2270, 0201 hours. If I fear you, it is not your power, but my powerlessness that I feel. So there is a sliding scale of power differential, thus of fear from near indifference to abjection. Abjection to the known is terror. Abjection to the unknown is horror. But there are levels of knowledge, so there are points on a second sliding scale, from the barely glimpsed to the fully exposed. We therefore have coordinates on a square. Caution, terror, unease, horror. Locate your fear on the map, and you have the start of a strategy for defeating it. Sunday, 6th March, 2270, 12.26 hours. All ideology is self-refuting. If it isn't, it isn't ideology. Or you haven't examined it closely enough to see it is. So who decides how much is enough? That is an ideological question. Sunday, 6th March, 2270, 1619 hours. A fanatic is one devoted to the struggle, not the goal. Even if they've forgotten what they're struggling for or against. Even if they never knew. Sunday, 6th March, 2270, 1956 hours. You can't force someone to accept a delusion but you can make them suffer until they invent a reason to do so. Monday, 7th March, 2270, 06, hours. It is not necessary for something to exist, to be studied. Money, God, the master plan, perfection. Monday, 7th March, 2270, 09, hours. Revenge is damaging the knife after it has stabbed you, thinking that will heal the wound. 
Monday, 7th March, 2217, 2142 hours. A silence surrounded by non-silence is an utterance. Tuesday, 8th March, 2217 hours. <laughs> Tuesday, 8 March, 2270, 0934 hours. Man is the animal that acts, they say. Tuesday, 8 March, 2270, 1105 hours. I have done it. I have either doomed millions of strangers to death by starvation or saved them from death by aerial bombardment. And I have no way of knowing which. My job, my life, is to configure paraspace, to open the gates of heaven and arrange passage for the ships of the Empire. They tell me where they want to go, but they never tell me why. I don't know what's going on. I can only guess from the tiny glimpses they can't avoid giving me. First, routine travel, then orders get cancelled, reissued, re-cancelled, delayed, confirmed. First, normal supplies, then shipments that only make sense in a disaster, then military squadrons. That last one was a hundred soldier transports, twenty heavy cruisers, and nearly five hundred hardware carriers, bound for Draco, Sieg, One, Magellanic, Beta. It could be the economies have collapsed, the colonists dying, the air running out. It could be the government are sending in the only people with the skills and resources to save them. Or it could be a coup in one, a civil war in another, a natural disaster. Or it could be there's been an uprising, something coordinated between systems. The people Demanding independence, self-governance, a chance to build the better lives they were promised. And the Earth soldiers are there to quell, pacify, liberate, restore order. And I can stop it. Whichever it is, I can stop it. But I can't be sure which it is. Some ships I sent nowhere. Their atoms are spread out across the galaxies. The others I sent to collide with the other terminals that I know about. The four others, like me, I never knew them. Dead now. I have cut off the colonies for years. Maybe decades. I gave them a chance to flourish or wither. All I could do. No guarantees. All I could do. No, one more thing. They will come soon. This terminal, this gateway, me. Destroy it. Go nowhere. Goodbye. <laughs>